Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be playing the Plucky Squire. This is part one. It was time to begin an adventure. Let's get rolling, set up options, and view control, watch events. Options, graphics, audio, controls, control. graphics. Game. Controls. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Let's get rolling. Save files new. Start new game. This game literally came out today, and I got out on the. PlayStation Plus, choose your playstyle adventure mode. If you're feeling plucky and you want a challenge, this mode is for you. Story mode. A breezy way to play. Relax and enjoy the story of the plucky squire. I always uh, do like the the harder kind of difficulty, or the most middlest of the difficulties. Sam's room. I love the art style already. Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Jot lived in the land of Mojo, a land of creativity. Mojo was ruled by the gentle queen, Chroma. Okay. He defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer, Humgrum. Humgrum. Which everyone very much appreciated. Good lad! Well done! Racky. This is a British game? I love it. Jot was also a writer and would transcribe his many adventures in book form. These tales were avidly read by all the people of the land, who found them quite gripping. Jot awoke one fine morning, and pluckily leapt from his bed. From afar, he could hear some rather exciting music. He got dressed and went to investigate. Chapter 1 Some Serious Beeswax. <laughs> some Serious Beeswax. Whoa! It's underpants. Okay, dodge. I kept the underpants. Oh! Dang, I'm going with that. Music was really good. I gotta see if there are any secrets. Because uh, it's just six games like Undertale, and there's gonna be a escape race. Or not. <laughs> Jot really felt like it was skating. This was the house of the good wizard, Moonbeer, Jot's close friend and mentor. Ah, Jot, my lad, he explained. I'm on a roll here, traveling to new musical realms. Since you're here, lad, I have a small favor to ask. Wax. I need more wax, lad. To press more records, you know. Would you go to Honey Peak and get some wax from Benny B? Sure. Pip here will accompany you. Okay, Pip. Many quests. Woo ha! You take care of the goblins. And I'll have the wax back here for you. Okay, Pip. Yeah, there, 
there will be goblins. No sweat for you though. Great job. To the entrance to the woods beckoned. Oh no, what this? Okay. Oh! Oh! Looks like that's the currency in this. Goblins and Bell the Hunt. The gate swung open for the Plucky Squire. I think that's where I'm supposed to go. I don't know. I'm gonna go back there. To Tome Tower. Shot! Yeah, that's not the way to Honey Peak! Okay, I thought so. Honey Peak. Oh, I am a I'm going to eat the world. Honey Peak. Okay. Okay. Lucky Spar left nimbly on. Now this looked really quite precarious. Dot took a deep breath. And off he left. Okay, following platforms. I like following platforms and games. Goblin. Oh, oh dang. Yeah, the top of Honey Peak. The view is incredible. Now that right there is a massive isle. That's Tom Flower, that is. Okay, that's Tom Flower. So, that's the Honey Badger, eating Benny's, Benny Bee's honey. Be on your toes, Jet. A hungry honey badger can be really cranky. Okay. Uh oh. So oh, heck, here we go. The honey badger seemed rather annoyed. Not prepared for a dust up. Powerful Puncher. Defeat the Honey Badger in a boxing match. The beast was bested. The plucky squire triumphant. Ah, uh, back at uh back in the hut. Feels good. Yo, many thanks, Jack. You gave me a sword. 
That Lenny Badger was really messing with my beeswax. Anyhow, gang, what brings you here? Me and Beard sent us, Benny. He could really do with some of that beeswax, if he has some spare. For sure, Pip. My man. Oh, you guys. Here you go. I don't know. I forgot the voice of them. Thanks. Compliments to the Wiz. Huh? What's going on? What's with all this ominous darkness? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna go. Whoa. Down they fell. Oof. It was time to confer with Moonbeard. Yep, it's hum 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 grump, all right. Always up to treacherous trickery, that one. There's something rather odd about the magic he used. And this is not usually how the story goes, you know. This, that is to say, uh, um, you know, forget about that, harumph. Harumph! This is a jaw for the plucky squire, Jot. Uh, Humgrump is at Tom Tower. Head there and make sure that creepy little twerp doesn't cause any b more bother. No! It was Violet. Violet was a trainee witch with a love of art. And Jot's childhood friend. Hey Jot, we've got another humgrump situation. Huh? Moonbear gave me the skinny. That weas that weaselly lizard is at home tower. You kids head over there and Jot. Push, stop to Humgrunt's malarkey. I'll look into that strange green magic and have a donut. But that's bye bye. Later. Goodbye. 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 Although you never really need it, Jet. Aw. Like it. No lie. I'm pumped that I'm going to get to see the plucky squad in action. No. Lead the way, Jet. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna be reusing voices because I don't know how I can use voices if I already use some. So the plucky spire set off to Tome Tower. A spring is in his step. A gleam in his plucky eye. Joy of art. Find an art spot. You got a new piece of artwork. Press that to show in gallery. Hmm. Hello. Enjoy the art. Okay. The gate swung. What the? Oh, dang. That's cool.
That's cool. Nice, you always have a way with words, Jack. Yeah, I'm not gonna do voices anymore. Except for, uh, the villain. Not one thing. Greetings, brave warriors. My, my name's Marty. My, nice to meet you. You adventurers cut down fearsome enemies and I slash places. Let me show you what I have for sale. Sword throw badge. And Throw your sword to attack enemies or retrieve goodies from the distance. You want this or do you? You got a new piece of artwork. Press that to show yellow. Boxing minigame? It was lovely to make your acquaintance. Be sure to check in again next time we meet. I'll have new stuff. You keep saving the land from bad business, and my business will save you from bad deeds. So long, brave warriors. Okay, definitely. Oh, come on. I literally own... You got the sword throw badge. First R2 to throw your sword and again to retrieve it. Yes. Whoa. Well now. Oh mini beard. <laughs> Time to practice throwing your sword, you got. Good going. If you want to keep straining, check out the board. Otherwise, leave via the exit at the bottom of the page. So you can't hold it. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have more stuff. Selfie. What happens? Okay, you have to. Cute little glitch bird. Find a glitch bird. You found a lost glitch bird. It will return to its own. There's so much stuff in this. That is so cool. Well, that. There it is. That mysterious ancient owl. All the knowledge of World Trail is supposed to be stored in that. Uh -oh. Whoa! Not sure the ground should be doing this again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, brother. Crap. oh brother. Chapter 2 Tome Tower.
Our heroes hung on to the cliff's edge by their fingernails, when suddenly they were grabbed and hoisted up. By whom? By Thrash. <laughs> Thrash was a mountain troll. George and Violet's childhood friend. The trio had not been together for quite a while, and so were very happy to be reunited. Okay, the new member. Thrash, oh boy. You really saved our skins, and we are happy. Are we happy to see you? Triple trouble together again. Yeah. I'm just I'm just stoked I could find you dudes. After all this craziness kicked off, I checked in with Moonbeard. He told me you were both heading to Tone Tower. I figured I'll help you on your way. The path was wrecked? Huh. Well there's more than one route to Tone Tower. Let's get down to the ground. We. Yeah, this is really quite high, isn't it? Well, if anyone can lead the way down, it's fresh. Yeah, right. Let's do this. Okay. Should, should I really do this? Okay. Wee! And here was Thrash waiting on the ground as cool as cool as a pretty Nice climbing, dude. Where's the other person? Yo, you both you both got down that cliff side with bang and style. You had a good rhythm going on there, dudes. You think? You know I did feel rather well preschool. So just I get happy mountain at it. Well now we're doing Let's get up to Tom Tower. Lead the way, Pucky Squad. Okay. So. Gotta get some moanies. 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 Look at those bouncing boulders. They're just vanishing into thin air. Major like ear. Yeah, you're right. I think they're actually going off the page. Wait, wait, wait. nothing. Go break the fourth wall. Sorry. Ooh. I mean, oh, it looks angry. Good job, none of us is wearing red. Phew. Just wearing red. Is it red? I suppose it is kind of red. More of a crimson than a scarf. I don't think bulls are that picky. Oh, I see. Some of it.
But the concept character shot. Hold up, is that Lumi? He looks much more petite than usual. Oh, that's Moonbeard, Moonbeard Thrash. That's Minibeard. He's like a tiny version of Moonbeard. Usually, you'll find him at Moonbeard's house, helping him out. Today, it looks like he's out and about. Hey, Minibeard, what's cooking? Yo, you only need a key. You'll need a key if you want to be journeying, journeying onward. If you walk to the right, you'll here you just might find one. Free advance from all many beard. The part of dice. Thanks, mini beard. Helpful fellow. You know, if you're stuck on something and start mi and mini beard is around, always pay thanks to him. He's full of answers. You got, you got the key. I knew you'd do it. Thanks, Mabier, dude. Here was a secluded forest. Cat. Ah, greetings, travelers. Three, my name... Is Topsy. Hey Topsy. I see you are on a quest of some kind. You know, Topsy may be able to help you, but there is something you could perhaps assist me with first. Family in my tummy. It is empty, I left my biscuits around here somewhere, you see. In the landscape, it seems to have changed somewhat, which has resulted in those biscuits becoming lost. Cat shouldn't be parted from their biscuits. We'll find them for you, Topsy. Oh, that would be extraordinarily helpful. Yeah, that would be dangerous. Still advice. There's a word in that sentence just there that might be the key to all those landscape shifting antics. You might identify which word is causing all the mischief by giving it a good whack. Oh. 
there was a secluded Now then, you seem to be doing all right. No. Jot found Toxie's biscuits. Hey, Dad. Yeah, good. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. So what were you? Oh yeah. Never mind. Never mind. My biscuits, how I have dreamed of this moment, travelers. You have my sincerest thanks. The prospect of this snack brings a smile to my face. Um. This land is full of puzzles and trickery. Always remember, things are sometimes not what they seem. When you get stuck, try to see things from a different angle. Good luck, biscuit savers. If save yours, I don't know. Okay, I was not expecting that. 
Like, I like your taste of fashion, bro. I like the tip of it. Jump attack, sword damage, and burst. Boom beard. Charge up and release a devastating spin attack to East Lake Oh. Our trio stopped in their tracks. There, on the horizon, loomed Cho Tower. Oh, we got dark around here pretty fast. There's some magical foot. Everything feels kind of busy. There was a strange electric city in the air. Yeah. Oh. Who is this? Concept character pick. Very metal. The strange electricity was spawning monsters. Hello, young adventurers. Are you on your way to Tome Tower? Yep, that's where we're heading. Best beware, a dark wizard 
occupies the tower. His magic is causing pandemonium. I mean, look at this place. Er, look at this lovely bridge. I'm might have a little long. A blitter. Oh yeah, red. Hmm. Is there another one across? Is there another one across the waters? I guess this is from the across the waters. Well, no. The cave entrance. Promising, promising. Okay. Wait, is that before? Oh my gosh, it's a book one. Wait a Man, real gloomy. Did the acoustics uh, uh, know? We don't jump, my dude. You, your plucky glow will light the way. Okay. Joy explore the impossible cave. Yeah, look at that! We cross the river. Now we go. We meet again. Care to take a look at my current selection? Let's go. Whoa. Fairy, fairy forest. There, all of these books really eerie. Pretty cool visual, though.
ba big blocks of books. These books had purposely stacked and stacked. Stacked books are a real world book, but if the books were scattered, you'd have a way through. Oh man, I see him. Candyland. That wretched fool jaw. He will get what he deserves. Uh, the time is near. Okay, that's a bit creepy. That dratter, dratted, fucky So this is where it all kicks off. A historical location in no mistake. Huh? Well, well, hello and goodbye, I guess. No idea who that was. So much oddness around these parts. Anyway, here we go. Here, I mean, here we are. It looks like Hum Grump is still up, on, up there on the roof. It's time for the Plucky Squire to go take care of that dude. We'll stay down here, dude. We don't want your crib style. This is one of those dramatic, heroic kind of moments, you know? During your big showdown, you don't want us two dorts mooching around in the back. Nope, we'll mooch down here instead, but we'll be cheering you on all the way. 
mooching and cheering, but that's more our story. So, go get that chump. Okay. Jot made his way up the steep steps. The perky, perky squad. I've been waiting for you. So glad to see you made it to Tom Tower. You may be wondering what Tom Grump is doing here. Well, I had a hunch, Grump. I might find something interesting in this old tower. And something interesting I did indeed find. A book. It was hidden away in a very secret chamber. Because this is a very special book. The title of this very special book is... The Plucky Squire! Yes, that's right. This book is all about you, and me, and all who live in this dreaded land. It is the story of our lives. It turns out, you see, that our land of Mojo's just are setting in a story. Hard to believe, I assure you, is true. What I'm holding here is a copy of that story. Go book within the book, if you will. Well, uh, I already knew that we were in a story. Wait, what? You know what? Never mind. I read the book. It's very interesting. You and that girl adventuring through the land, meeting up with the mountain troll, making your way up here to meet me. Hey, I'm there. Yeah, me too, bro. That's, that's just me. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, sure it is. In fact, I read ahead to this very chapter. I've seen what happens next. We fight here on the roof, then. Any guesses how that turns out? And so, the Pluggy Squire once again defeated the wretched wizard Huffgrum. You win, as always, as you always. You know, this book is worth of a series. And in each one of those books, you win. Every single stinking time! Because you are the plucky squire, the hero of this story, the boy who can do no wrong! Always victorious, you see, even the little stories you write, beloved by all. And like a, like a mosquito in my cord, young dude. Yes, that is an adequate metaphor. Me, I'm the villain that turns to this. Wizard who can do no right, destined to be beaten forever. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. At least, this is how it has been up until. But maybe it doesn't need to be that way. Maybe even Hoppengrump could get a little glory for once if the plucky squire to be plucked from the. If he were to be ejected. Uh oh, uh oh, don't grab me. No, my sword! Ugh. Ah! Oh. Ah. Whoa. I look so much better. Uh, bye. Uh. That was bad. Ha <laughs> ha! I got you. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is like a perfect place to end it. Dang it, I lost my sword. I can't dash. I can't do anything other than jumping. Dang. <gasps> And I can jump on my book. No. Okay, guys, that's the end of this Plucky Squire video. I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!